presidential election is a little over 100 days away. There's been a shakeup in the Democratic nominee for president after President Joe Biden stepped down on Sunday and endorsed his vice president, Kamala Harris. Today, VP Harris held her first campaign rally as a presumptive Democratic nominee. It took place at a high school in West Allis, which is a suburb of Milwaukee. Our own Jeremy Fredericks was inside when the VP spoke this afternoon and joins us live. Jeremy. Good evening, Jessica. It's been 48 hours since President Joe Biden said he wouldn't be seeking the Democratic nomination for president. Now we're seeing our first glimpse of Vice President Harris in that role. Vice President Harris spoke about her goals, ensuring Americans have access to affordable health care, supporting the middle class, and allowing access to abortions. Ms. Harris said it is an honor to receive an endorsement from President Biden. Earlier today, the Vice President picked up the endorsements from Senate Leader Chuck Schumer and Democratic House Leader Hakeem Jeffries. She's also gained hundreds of millions of dollars from donors and an increase in campaign volunteers. We are running a people-powered campaign. That is how you know we will be a people-first presidency. Vice President Harris used her experience as a prosecutor to prosecute the case against former President Donald Trump, the Republican nominee for president. She also talked about the cases and convictions against Mr. Trump, including being found guilty of 34 felony counts in New York for the hush money case. Ms. Harris emphasized his ties to Project 2025, a conservative agenda that has been criticized for policies that would undermine democracy. And it is a fight for freedom. Vice President Harris has not yet officially been named the nominee. That will happen next month. She also has to pick a vice president. Governor Tony Evers and Senator Tammy Baldwin, who's running for re-election this fall, both spoke at the rally. We got our first poll today between Mr. Trump and Ms. Harris. It shows the VP up by two points, slightly better than Mr. Biden was polling against Mr. Trump. That is well within the margin of error. Reporting in West Allis, Jeremy Fredericks, Newswatch 12.